All right, now, welcome back. Today we're gonna do some more arithmetic with addition and subtraction with a positive and a negative number. Before we get into that, I do wanna shout out this ancestor, this brother that's on my t-shirt. This is Thomas Sankara, Thomas Sankara. Thomas Sankara was a revolutionary leader in a country called Burkina Faso, which is in West Africa, which borders Ghana, right? If you, if you think about Ghana and how Osaji Fo Kwame Nkrumah was the first leader of an independent Ghana in 1957, Burkina Faso borders Ghana. Now, Thomas Sankara came along much later, right? And he was a leader in the 1980s, early 1980s to the mid-1980s until he was assassinated by the French in 1987 because he was fighting against the French because the French had colonized that land and that nation and that area. And he believed in standing up and he was a Pan-Africanist leader and he believed in us. He believed in the people taking back the land and controlling their land and controlling that nation for themselves. So he's definitely somebody you want to look into if you don't know a lot of information about him. I definitely highly recommend you check out Thomas Sankara. Do some searches. There's some books about Thomas Sankara that have been written. There are books that he wrote himself. There are books of his speeches. Go check this brother out. Learn about him. Learn about the Burkinabi Revolution. Learn about as much as you can about him. Just go ahead and go down that rabbit hole, all right? Now, today's particular problem says 13 plus negative six. 13 plus negative six. Now, I know I've done a previous video where I told you that whenever you see a situation where you, you see an addition problem and you're adding a negative, right? You're adding a negative. That's basically the same thing as just regular old subtraction. That's just regular subtraction. So what I mean is this. 13 plus negative 6 can be rewritten as or thought of as just plain old 13 minus 6. You know what I'm saying? That's just 13 take away 6. All right? And if we remember our subtraction facts from way back from early on, or if you're a young person, you like you might be, you know, 5 or 6 or 7 years old, you memorize, you're working to memorize your subtraction facts. That's good. Memorize your subtraction facts of all the, all the single-digit numbers and two-digit numbers, all right, at a minimum. So 13 take away 6 is going to be 7. So this is our final answer. So 13 plus negative 6 is the same thing as 13 minus 6, which is 7. So that means that 13 plus negative 6 is also 7, all right? Now, that's if we look at it that way. Now, what if we look at it graphically? Because I want you to always be able to understand how to look at addition and subtraction problems graphically by the use of, of the number line. Remember, the first number in the addition statement, right, is, where you, is what we consider your starting point. So you would start at 13 on the number line. Now, you might be looking at this and say, oh, well, you said that when you see a plus sign, that means you move to the right. I did say that. However, this has to be in simplified form. This says plus a negative. So we don't apply that rule about the plus sign meaning move to the right and the minus sign meaning move to the left until the expression is in simplified form. Until the expression is in simplified form. This is not simplified form. We gotta simplify it and make it into a plain subtraction problem first before we get into all that, right? So once we have 13 minus six, then we say, okay, 13 is where I start at. And then because there's a minus sign, that means I'm going to move to the left, which is this way. I'm moving to the left this way. And then this number right here, 6, tells me how far I'm going to go. So basically, I'm going this. I start at 13, and I'm counting spaces, not lines. I'm counting spaces. So I'm going to go one space, two spaces, three spaces, four spaces, five spaces, six spaces. So that's going to be 7, where I stop at. So that's my answer, because then think about it. If my numbers are getting smaller, that means I'm going 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. And that's our answer right there. So just keep in mind, once again, that when you add a negative, that's the same as doing subtraction. Adding a negative is the same as doing subtraction. And also, if you think about it in terms of the number line, you start at 13, and since you're doing subtraction, we're sliding to the left. So we're going to slide to the left, and then we slide that many spaces, six spaces. All right? So keep those things in mind, and until next time, go get some practice. Peace.